to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. It's the fallacy of mediocrity. Comparing themselves with themselves, the Bible says they are not wise. Is someone learning? The adventure in this kingdom is not who you are better than. The adventure in this kingdom is rising to the mark of the price of the high calling in Christ. So if you pray for 10 minutes, you are better than the one who does not pray. So you say. But is that enough to deliver that which you desire? Currency number two. Humility and meekness. Is someone learning? Hmm. Let's look at one last scripture. Philippians chapter 3 from verse 4. Please pay attention to this. Philippians 3 and verse 4. Help us media and let's rush so that we can pray. Now watch this. You have to understand that the man who is speaking here is Paul. Paul the Pharisee and Paul the Apostle. A twin combination that qualifies any man to be an authority. As a Pharisee, a learned colleague, and now an apostle of the Lord Jesus with the attesting signs following. Though I might also have confidence in the flesh, he said, if after man, if, if after man thinketh that he had whereof, he might trust in the flesh, I have. Next. It says, circumcised on the eighth day of the stock of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew of Hebrews and as touching the law a Pharisee next verse concerning zeal persecuting the church touching the righteousness which is in the law blameless next verse but what things were gained to me those I counted loss for Christ is that in your Bible it say yeah doubtless verse 8 I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord for whom I have suffered the loss of all things and do count them but wrong that I may win Christ. Verse 9. It says, And be found in him not having my own righteousness which is after the law but that which is through the faith of Christ Jesus the righteousness which is of God by faith in him uh-huh that i may know him who is asking to know him here a man who just finished reading his credentials a pharisee an apostle wrote two thirds of the new testament and here's what he says at the zenith of an impactful ministry that i may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings being made confirmable unto his death I don't know about you but in this school of the spirit for me there is no graduation mm -mm. Mm -mm. there is only promotion from one height and one level I continue to discover him every day and I continue to find truth like treasure let us return to the place of genuine meekness and humility. Currency number three. Is someone getting blessed? The third currency that we use to buy the truth is called genuine connection and followership. The third currency that buys the truth in this kingdom is the currency of genuine connection and followership please pay attention go back and listen to this teaching again and it will change your life 
the currency of genuine connection and followership. Very quickly, a few scriptures. Proverbs chapter 13 and verse 20. Let me quote it for the sake of time. It says, he that walks with the wise shall be wise himself. That means you don't have to be wise. But just walk with the wise. And something about your connection will, in, the connection with them will influence you. It says, but a companion of fools. That man is not called a fool. He said he's a companion to fools. And yet he would be destroyed. In Hebrews chapter 6 and verse 12, the Bible says to not be slothful, but to be followers of them. There are some them that are worth following. When you follow those them, they are able to take you to the place of destiny. Be followers of them who through faith and patience inherit or obtain the promise. There are some them in Ghana some them in Takoradi that are worth your followership but it must be genuine connection proximity to the anointing is not connection no many people were close to Jesus some were making money out of him some were using him for fame only few connected to him genuinely the third currency that we use to buy the truth alongside its lifting power is the currency of genuine connection and followership matthew chapter 4 please from verse 17 is god helping us tonight matthew 4 and verse 17 let me show you a very interesting scripture hmm. from that time the bible says jesus began to preach and to say repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand we're reading to 22 very quickly and jesus walking by the sea of galilee the bible says he saw through brethren simon called peter and andrew his brother coasting their nets to the sea for they were fishers uh-huh and he said unto them follow me what was the command follow me and left them a promise he says i will make you is not only a fisher of men he can make you anything remember he's called the maker you know the testimony of the psalmist i will lift up my eyes onto the hills then he said from whence cometh my help he says my help cometh from the lord the maker so every time you see a great life the maker has met that life the maker makes men now the maker is saying follow me and i will make you do you have the humility to follow? I will make you fishers of men. What did they do? 20. The Bible says, and straightway they left their nets. Do you see the exchange happening? They had to leave something to follow. They didn't carry it along. They left it. They left it there does not mean they did not use it again. They placed value on the followership more than what they were doing. 21. Please give it to us 21. The Bible says, And going from thence, he saw other two brethren, James the son of Zebedee, and John his brother, in a sheep. He saw them mending their nets. He also called them. Last verse. 22 now. And immediately they left the sheep and followed him. What was the result of their followership? Acts chapter 4 from verse 7. These guys followed him because he asked them to follow. They did not know that they were paying a price. And when they had set them in the midst, they asked. This was after the man at Get Beautiful was healed. By what power or by what name have ye done this? Reading to 13 verse 8. And Peter filled with the Holy Spirit said unto them, Ye rulers of the people and elders of Israel. 9. He said, if we this day be examined by the good deed done to the important man, by what means he was made whole, uh -huh, be it known unto you all and to the people of Israel that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom he crucified, whom God raised from the dead, even by him doth this man stand before you whole. Verse 11. 
and the stone which was set at naught by you builders is now become the head of the corner we're reading to 13 neither is there salvation in any other for there is none other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved i want you to read verse 13 together it's a long reading but be patient ready one two read now when they saw the boldness of peter and john and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men they marveled and they took knowledge of them what was the secret that they had been that was the receipt for that transaction follow me and i will make you follow me the price of genuine connection and followership is someone getting blessed in the parable of the ten virgins there were five who were foolish and five who were wise they were all virgins and it was not an issue of sin or righteousness it was an issue of wisdom or foolishness and the foolishness of the five was that they did not have extra oil and in helping their situation are we together yes the groom came and then they said help me please um the groom is here give us oil and they said no 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 if we give you we don't have extra he gave them an advice he said go to them that sell and buy there are those who sell not everybody is in need there are those who have been made custodians of dimensions and graces they are called them that sell it's an election of grace you may be struggling with the prophetic but there are them that sell you can go to them that sell and buy you may be struggling with your finances but there are them that sell god has trusted them with that understanding do you know it is amazing that when you find these people who sell in one day a captivity of years your mountain is only relative to you it's not a general mountain there are graces that can trivialize that thing you call mountain every challenge is at the mercy of the grace that confronts it challenges are not general no while they were shouting in the boat jesus was sleeping challenges are not general what is giving you sleepless night someone has accessed the wisdom and the light and the knowledge and conquered it experientially my church is not growing i am sincere go to them that sell and buy my business is not growing i am doing my best ghana does not seem to open for me find out someone who five years ago was under the bridge and with the dignity of kingdom integrity is now a millionaire they are them that sell can i tell you the pride of our generation is one of the reasons why we never the humility of followership i wish i had time i would have told you the price of followership followership is expensive it will cost you your ego do you think Elijah followed out of convenience? Read your Bible and read history. Elijah was a temperous man. No wonder the sons of the prophet were offended until they did not receive anything. Elijah endured. No matter, you insult me, I will follow. Can I tell you? The price for followership of anybody who genuinely carries grace is not convenient. Look at Jesus. Even the disciples said, listen, we need to talk. We have left all to follow you. What is our court in this? And Jesus said, now I got you. No man who has left this and that to follow me. He said, but he will receive in this life. Followership is not by convenience. It's by revelation. Let me give us one more. Our time is up. I promise you. This is this is just this is just an exhortation. We're just please sit down. I promise five, but I'll have to give one so that we'll pray. 
the fourth currency <laughs> is the currency of faith f a i t h hebrews chapter 11 and verse 3 through faith we understand faith does not just give faith reveals through faith we can buy understanding with faith faith does not just give things faith ushers you to realms through faith we understand that the walls the aeons were framed by the word of god we were not there but by faith we were able to purchase that information and to believe it as true listen very carefully it will take faith for you to be able to buy the truth because in this life there are no guarantees and can i tell you truth always looks powerless till it meets what it was supposed to defeat for instance the truth himself jesus looked powerless on the cross until he went to hell the potential of that sacrifice was not seen on the cross it was seen when that scene changed and he went to hell paul was given that revelation and he saw the cohorts of hell bowing on i mean forcing him to bow down and the bible says having spoiled principalities and powers he made a public show of them triumphing over them in it is it in your bible and he went to Hades, the place of the dead. Apostle Peter teaches us and preached the gospel to them. And when they believed, he opened the prison doors and came out with them. Now being the first begotten, no longer the only begotten. It's in your Bible that when he resurrected from the dead, graves were open. And all the departed saints came with him and they walked through the streets of Jerusalem. Yet, the truth that defeated that lie of the victory of Satan hung powerless on the cross the truth of giving looks weak until you see what it does to poverty the truth of obedience looks weak until you see what it does to disobedience the truth of prayer looks weak until you see what it does to the realm of the spirit the truth of fasting looks weak until you see what it does to your spirit man the truth of revelation looks weak until you see what it does to your spirit and your mind it is all by faith how do i know i am changing when i've not seen any results the currency of faith by the truth and he says no matter the pressure that means someone is going to come at the back end of your pressure to tell you give me what you have and let me give you what you are looking for are we together? Yeah. Listen to me. When you get to times where you face challenges in your spiritual life, Satan will come and say, give me your hunger. Give me your passion for God and I will give you rest. Even though temporary. He says, sell it not. I'm wrapping up my teaching now. It is not only by the truth. The sell it not part is what I want to enter your spirit because there is a way you can sell it. You can sell it through compromise. You can sell it through complacency. Let us not be weary in well-doing. You can sell it through weariness. So there are people who bought the truth years ago in ministry, but now they have clearly sold it because we do not see that hunger again. Every time what you had is no longer with you you sold it and i can tell you the person who buys all of them i wish i had time would have gone to revelations 18 19 and i will show you all the many things that this she goddess called jezebel has she's a businesswoman she does merchandise with the kings of the earth and among the many things that she has she has oils anointings she has many things including slaves and the souls of men you know how she buys it she looks for moments of weariness give me your hunger for god and i can give you your house rent and you quickly like the foolishness of esau was a mystery that we are still many people are still making that mistake today esau was hungry and he said i know 
my convenience will come based on an exchange jacob what is this to me collect my bed right and give me the pottage we laugh at esau yet we do not know that this is a very massive weapon that satan uses many of you have traded your hunger and your passion for god many of you have traded humility and meekness many of you have traded your genuine connection through offense many of you have traded your faith peter satan had desired to sift you like wheat but i have prayed for you that your faith fail not and when thou art strengthened use this same formula and combat your brethren i've already mentioned the fifth key I will not teach i will just mention it the fifth currency is prayer call on to me and i will answer and in response i will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not we're going to pray has someone received something tonight proverbs 23 23 do not forget this by the truth by the truth use humility the truth there means everything that represents god because when he came manifest in the flesh the bible says he was full of grace and truth i will tell you what is truth <sighs> whatsoever things are pure whatsoever things are true whatsoever things are lovely whatsoever things are noble if there be any virtue if there be any praise don't only think on them buy them that is the truth that is the most accurate definition of the truth everything that makes for this it extends to the anointing to influence to all of this so if you see men who are rich unto god don't blame them they have bought the truth if you see a church that is flourishing it was not by magic no they bought the truth everywhere you see results you see the signature of hunger and desire you see the signature of humility and meekness you see the signature of genuine connection and followership you see the signature of faith bible faith you see the signature of prayer rise up in one minute just one prayer for tonight and I have believed in a lie that's the prayer request that you are unable to help me but now oh Lord I see my wrong heal my heart and show yourself strong and in my heart and with my song oh Lord, be magnified oh Lord, be magnified father i obtain grace any cost I obtain grace go ahead and pray grant me the grace restore unto my destiny the currency is someone praying call back the currencies you have given away by faith the currency of hunger and desire restore it to my life The currency of meekness and humility restore it to my life. I someone is praying, someone is praying. The currency of genuine connection and followership. The currency of faith. The currency of prayer.
prayer Lord that I will coordinate these currencies to buy the truth in the name of Jesus Christ now please let me encourage you I want you to invite everyone in Takuradi to come tomorrow I believe that it will be a moment of worship and I'll be sharing with you another truth from scripture and then we'll have the time to pray for the sick but one thing I can tell you is this Egyptians you see in the name of Jesus as surely as the Lord God of heaven lives you will see them no more forever in the name of the Lord Jesus I declare that you are blessed tonight I release encounters supernatural prophetic angelic encounters in the name of Jesus as you listen to these teachings again I pray that your eyes will be open to see and your ears will be open to hear in the mighty name of Jesus wave your hands to Jesus and give him praise dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message you must be forgiven to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video Bye. Let's pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Salaska de Bashkana Kata Branda Katekato. Kate Branda Katapa Kotosko to break a take and the The face of development.